from a volcanic eruption that was four times as powerful as the largest nuclear device ever created by mankind, to the shocking recent explosion of the Hunga Tonga volcano, which is believed to be the largest of the 21st century and possibly the largest ever seen from space, here are the five greatest volcanic eruptions in recent history. In April of 1902, a major earthquake struck the western highlands of Guatemala. Quetzaltenango, the second largest city in the country, felt its effects, but grossly underestimated the chain of events that would soon follow. On October 24th of the same year, people heard something coming from the Santa Maria volcano, an active beast that hadn't blown its lid in over 500 years. They reported the roar of a waterfall, but couldn't see through the thick mist of the volcano. Once they realized what was happening, it was too late. Explosions littered the Guatemalan highlands with debris for the next two days. Ash floated as far as San Francisco, some 2,500 miles away, and an estimated 6,000 people perished in the disaster. To make matters worse, the Guatemalan government tried to cover it up. You've heard there is no war in Ba Sing Se. Now, get ready for There is no volcano in Quetzaltenango. Santa Maria hadn't erupted in nearly five centuries, yet some experts believe it sat dormant for thousands of years. The city had little preparation, and the government wasted most of its disaster funding on the April earthquake. They didn't understand one simple math equation. Earthquake plus active volcano equals a very dangerous situation. In the middle of the disaster, the central government focused on the Fiestas Minervalias celebration, a propaganda festival held under the Manuel Cabrera regime. They were so focused on the festival that they downplayed the severity of the eruption. They told the people it was coming from Mexico and they shouldn't worry. That was a lie. In the end, Guatemala lost 6,000 citizens and all of their western agriculture. Region authorities predicted an ensuing famine due to lack of food as cattle perished and meat spoiled. Just over 50 miles northwest of Manila, the capital city in the Philippines, sits Mount Pinatubo, an active stratovolcano that had been quiet since the 1500s. For those non-experts, stratovolcanoes are the ones you imagine when you think volcano. Experts can pinpoint five historical eruptions in the modern history of Mount Pinatubo. The first dating back to 15,000 BC. Pinatubo blew again in 7,000 BC, once more between 4 and 3,000 BC, and again between 1900 and 300 BC. Then it relaxed for a while before erupting in the 1500s. Because of its irregular eruption pattern, the people of Manila were caught off guard when Mount Pinatubo violently awoke in the summer of 1991. Experts believe the earthquake that rocked the Philippines the summer before ultimately triggered the volcano, albeit a year-long domino effect of seismic activity. In the months prior, residents reported smaller earthquakes happening around Mount Pinatubo. They saw steam coming from its summit, but scientists didn't seem concerned. The volcano officially woke up in April, with lava slowly pouring over the side. People began evacuating as a massive explosion seemed imminent. A series of small eruptions occurred in the final days before the historic event on June 15th of 1991. The cataclysmic eruption reached an astounding 22 miles into the sky. Then, as if some sick form of torture, a typhoon hit the area, sending toxic volcanic ash raining down on the nearby towns and villages. The eruption was so large that ash was reported landing as far away as the Indian Ocean, and satellites tracked the ashen cloud a handful of times around the globe. The early evacuation certainly helped. Still, 847 lost their lives to Mount Pinatubo, mostly because of collapsing roofs burdened by the weight of volcanic matter. 
In Latin, the word Nova Rupta translates to newly erupted. The Nova Rupta volcano got its name in 1912, after the largest volcanic eruption in the 20th century. Located in the Katmai National Park on the Alaskan Peninsula, Nova Rupta didn't put too many people in danger. But after a series of preceding earthquakes rocked the area, local villagers got the hint. They hightailed it out of there, knowing the soon-to-be Nova Rupta was due to blow. On June 6th of 1912, the Nova Rupta volcano erupted with incredible force, registering a 6 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. For reference, the VEI measures how big volcanic eruptions are, similar to how we measure earthquakes and hurricanes. It works on a scale of 1 to 8. Level 1 describes daily eruptions that we don't even notice, like a bit of magma spilling out from a vent in the side of the volcano. However, Level 8 includes world-ending cataclysmic events, like if Yellowstone blew up. As a Level 6 eruption, similar to Pinatubo and the Santa Maria, Nova Rupta erupted for 60 long hours, spewing 3.6 cubic miles of ash into the air. For a comparison, that's 30 times more than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Nova Rupta blew ash 20 miles high and covered the entire Ukok River Valley in a blanket of black ash. The Ukok River was renamed the Valley of 10,000 Smokes as water trapped under the hot ash emitted pockets of steam for decades. In the end, the eruption is now regarded as the largest to occur in all of the 20th century. The country of Indonesia is one that is made up of two major land masses separated by a narrow body of water called the Sunda Strait. In the middle of the water between the two halves exists an island that was once much larger than it is today. But you'd have to go back to the early summer of 1883 to see it. Krakatoa Island, more commonly known for the supervolcano below it, exploded on August 27th of 1883 taking 70% of the island and 36,000 people with it. Krakatoa consists of three smaller volcanoes on the island, Perboatan, Danan, and Rakata. All three had been brewing for years, and earthquakes felt as far as Australia foreshadowed what was to come. Steam spewed up from the three volcanoes, and minor explosions left a layer of ash on the ground about 20 inches thick. Finally, on August 27th, four major explosions marked Krakatoa's climax. They began in the morning and lasted until almost 11 a.m. The third blast was so loud that people in Perth, Australia heard it nearly 2,000 miles away. In fact, the third explosion at Krakatoa is considered the loudest sound ever recorded. Tsunami waves, believed to be upwards of 98 feet tall, accompanied each eruption. They were responsible for the heavy death toll Krakatoa left in its wake. The energy from the explosion was equal to 200 megatons of TNT, and about four times as strong as the Tsar Bomba, the most powerful atomic weapon ever detonated. The mark this eruption left on the surrounding areas is possibly unlike anything we have seen in history with some places never repopulating. If you were scrolling through your social media feeds in mid-January of 2022, you probably saw some shocking satellite imagery. A violent eruption in the Pacific Ocean disrupted the calm view of Earth. A mushroom cloud of smoke rose into the atmosphere after Hunga Tonga Hunga Hiapai, or Hunga Tonga for short, erupted in the Pacific Ocean. Hunga Tonga is a submarine volcano, meaning it's hidden underwater. While satellites captured the eruption itself, they missed the 50-foot tsunami waves that ravaged the archipelago of Tonga. The Kingdom of Tonga is a group of 169 islands nestled about 500 miles off the coast of Fiji. Just over 100,000 people live scattered among the islands, and all of them feared the worst when Hunga Tonga blew its lid. The Tongan capital of Nuku'alofa is only 40 miles from the volcano. 
As ash blanketed everything in sight, the people worked tirelessly to establish clean drinking water. Unfortunately, there was little they could do about the extensive crop loss, estimating around $17 million worth of damage. To make matters worse, Tonga was one of the few areas of the world that hadn't seen any cases of COVID-19, and sadly, relief ships brought more than just helpful supplies. The tsunami waves only claimed the lives of four people in Tonga. However, smaller six-and-a-half-foot waves even hit the shore of Peru, causing two people to get lost at sea. NASA said the Hunga Tonga eruption was hundreds of times more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped during World War II, and early data indicates it was the largest eruption of the 21st century, with an unofficial VEI rating of 6. Before it erupted in 1815, Mount Tambora stood 14,000 feet tall, making it one of the highest peaks in Indonesia. Today, it holds the record for the largest volcanic eruption in recorded human history, registering a 7 out of 8 on the VEI. Mount Tambora erupted violently on April 10th of 1815, but smaller steam-based eruptions continued for the next three years. The blast obliterated everything on the island, sending three-mile-long pumice rafts out to sea. Pumice is a type of volcanic rock. When submarine or coastal volcanoes erupt, they create giant floating land masses known as pumice rafts. Some biologists believe animals and plants use pumice rafts to migrate from island to island. The eruption sent between 38 and 51 cubic miles of material into the atmosphere, leading to the year without summer in 1816. The average temperature worldwide dropped by an entire degree. Europe experienced its coldest summer on record, and widespread food shortages ravaged the Northern Hemisphere. Mount Tambora's toll on human life is tough to pinpoint. Some sources say it claimed 10,000 lives, others say 48,000, and some go as high as 88,000. Those lost to famine and disease caused by the eruption leave the final tally in ambiguity. But the one thing we know for sure is that this event is now commonly regarded as the largest volcanic eruption in all of recent history. Well, that about wraps things up for this video, but if you enjoyed it and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.